This is my $45,000 ADU. Today I'm gonna to give you a quick tour and I'm also going to explain the strategy that I used to build it. If you don't have time to watch the entire video, my overall strategy was to hire different companies for different jobs. And at the end of the day, there was no conflict of interest and a $100,000 project became $45,000. So if you don't have time to watch the entire video, that's exactly what I'm gonna talk about today. Now, the boring stuff. Hopefully the audio turns out well in this video. I'm at an open house, it's empty. There's a big echo, so we'll find out. I started my project in 2019. We submitted the plans, we got them approved, and I began the work, I wanna say November of 2019, finished in maybe March of 2020. So I've been done with my project for a very long time. The reason why I haven't done this video is because the city took a very long time to send me my certificate of occupancy. That was a nine to 10 month process. Finally, I got it and I'm making the final video on my project. This is the end of my journey, hopefully the beginning of yours. One of the reasons why I decided to do this project by myself without the help of a general contractor is because even back then, the starting price to convert a 20 by 20 garage into an ADU was between 80,000 to $100,000 and that hasn't changed. I believe now the beginning price to convert a garage into an ADU is about $120,000. So the situation has gotten worse. If you need somebody to help you draw the plans for your ADU, get in contact with Natalie. She can help you draw the plans, submit them to the city and get them approved. The best way of getting in contact with Natalie is by going over to my website, sending her an email and that's it she will take care of the rest. And by doing that, you will be executing step one towards building your ADU. How did I convert my garage into an ADU with, without the help of a general contractor? I did it all as an owner builder and figuring things out along the way. The, the only person that I had in my team to help me finish my project was the city inspector. The city inspector helped me out a lot. I was very careful not being annoying, so I asked him very simple questions. Every single time he stopped by my project, he gave me the answers. Every time I was stuck, I didn't go on, on forums. I, I didn't really ask people around because this is 100% new even now. It's been a few years since the ordinance passed and people still don't know how to build an ADU. The only person that knows is the general contractor. Everybody thinks that it's impossible, but it's not. It's actually very easy once you begin the inspections and start doing some of the work. My experience with some of the contractors that I interviewed to build my project was horrible. There was one guy in particular, he came over to my property. I asked him to give me an estimate on the framing. He told me it was gonna be $20,000 to frame the ADU and add a footing to the bottom. And I didn't know any better, so I had two options. I could have signed the contract and get it over with, or I could have gone a different route, which I did. I asked the city inspector, how do I know if I have footings in my property? Because I had to verify the footings at that point. And he basically said, excavate a section of the property on each corner of your garage. And if you have concrete 12 inches going down, you have the required footing for your ADU. The city inspector, told me that it took him a minute to give me the information. Now have in mind, the contractor that stopped by my property already knew all this. He could have told me and he could have helped me out, but he didn't. He withheld critical information that could have helped me out and save money. 
So that tells you a lot about some contractors, not all. And I understand that it's a business, they have to make money, and I get that. And that's why I started making the videos because if the city inspector was nice enough to give me the information, I might as well pass it along to somebody who needs it and is in the process of building their ADU. Being in real estate and having a bit of experience with contractors, flipping properties, it gave me a little bit of, of knowledge about construction. The way I look at it is a standard garage is 20 by 20. So that's a 20 by 20 room. Is it worth $100,000? Is it reasonable to spend $100,000 or $120,000 on a 20 by 20 room by adding drywall, a kitchen, a bathroom, some doors and windows, maybe the footing on the bottom? In my opinion, it's not worth $100,000. The ADU itself and the concept is, but the construction work that goes along with it, I don't think it's worth $100,000. At that point, I, I knew there had to be another way. And my overall strategy was to hire companies in their trades to do the work that I was telling them to do. So I took on the role of the general contractor. I built it as an owner builder and I hired the companies to do the work that I told them to do, which is basically what a general contractor does. You pay a general contractor for the knowledge that he has. When you hire a general contractor, he's taking on risk any good contractor usually adds a 20% cost to his initial bid because what if things happen? If, if things happen, he has to have money to fix the problem. He's taking on risk. So in order for him not to have so much risk on that one particular project, most of the time they'll add a 20% markup to the initial project. And perhaps there's another 20%, which is maybe his profit you know, possibly more, possibly less. The other 60% is the actual cost of building the whatever project it may be. What I did is I eliminated the 40% that I would have paid a contractor by taking on that role. So the entire project, my cost was $45,000 completed with a certificate of occupancy in my hands. By not hiring a general contractor to build my ADU, I took on the risk for the entire project. And I was okay with that. I knew what I was getting myself into. There was, I wanna say maybe one major problem that I had, and that had to do with the framer. He stopped working, he couldn't finish my project. So I had to hire a different framer, licensed by the way, to finish the framing. So that was my biggest headache after you install the shear walls is just standard construction. There's really nothing special besides the Hearst test. So by taking on the role of the general contractor for my project, only my property, I had to tell companies what work to complete. For the most part, the companies that I hired already knew what to do. So it was you know, fairly simple to tell a company install drywall in this 20 by 20 room, I need to pass the inspection. And that was it. They did the work, I passed the inspection. Same thing for the, for the bathroom. I told them, I want tile over here, I need to pass inspection. So they knew exactly what to do in order to pass that inspection and so on and so forth. The only problem I had was a Hearst test, which was basically at the end of the entire project, but I figured it out. I called the company, they knew what to do, they got on the system and I called the inspector for the very last time and he signed my project off. I built my ADU for $45,000 and I'm gonna break down all the things that I did personally, my labor, my time, my energy, and tell you why my cost was $45,000. If you use my strategy and you find out that your cost is sixty-five dollars or $70,000, it's because I did a lot of the things myself. So first thing is, I didn't have to worry about the footings. I already had footings in my ADU, thanks to the city inspector that told me what to do. My garage was in the front of the property and by the garage being in the front, I cut labor costs and materials because the sewer line going to the city was only 15 feet away. The electrical panel was right on the back of the garage. We didn't add any square feet. If you add square feet, your cost just increases. 
the shear walls were installed inside the ADU. And if you want to save $10,000, go watch the shear walls video. And that saved us a lot of money because otherwise we would have to take down the stucco, install the shear walls on the outside, restucco the whole thing again. That would have been very expensive. I installed the insulation myself. I cleaned up all the trash. I also took it to the dump. I purchased all the materials myself. I installed the resilient channel and I didn't know how to do that. I read the guide, installed it, and my work passed the inspection. I also installed the front door, the flashing for the windows, and I installed the windows. I also climbed in the roof and installed the roof vent cap that sucks the air out when we're cooking. So I actually did a lot of the labor myself. I I took the time to learn a few things, buy some tools. If you want to work with some of the companies that helped me out, go to the website. All their information is in there. Give them a call, get an estimate. If it works out perfectly, if it doesn't work out, at least you have another estimate for your project. Since building an ADU is extremely expensive, even worse than when I began my project, what I'm doing right now is I'm building a platform that anybody can use to build their ADU without any experience. I want to make it so easy that it's like following a guide to build Legos. You know, you take the Legos, you put them together and you have a structure at the end. That's what I'm trying to do for ADUs. And it's taking up a lot of time. I have to call a lot of contractors, negotiate a set price, but that takes a lot of time, a lot of energy, and that's gonna be a topic for another video. But for now, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. On the very next video, I'm gonna document how homeowners can possibly save $10,000 when building their ADU by using a $159 product from Home Depot. This is something that a general contractor will never tell you and is being approved and signed off by the city inspector in my property and other projects.